All right, today I'm going to give you the secret sauce of dog training. Anytime you wanna change your dog's behavior, this is the formula I want you to follow. So stick with me. We're going to talk about the ABCs of dog training today. Hi, I'm Amy Jensen. I'm the owner and creator of Baxter and Bella, the online puppy school. And today we're talking all about the ABCs of dog training, the magic formula that's really going to change how you think about teaching your dog to do good behavior. Anytime you want to change your dog's behavior, we have a formula called the ABCs of dog training. And what it means is that we have the A, the B, and the C. So A is the antecedent, B is the behavior your dog is choosing to do, C is the consequence. Now, a lot of times the dog does the behavior, we do the consequence, and the dog does the behavior, and we deal with the consequence, and that becomes this vicious cycle. At some point, we really need to get out front of the behavior, and that's the A side of it. We need to start to predict and anticipate what our dog's behavior might be, and then change the environment to set them up for success so that we can get a new pattern of behavior without the old behavior. We're basically replacing that behavior with a better one. So again, the A, B, and C of the behavior, the B is what your dog's doing, A and C are what we try to manage, okay? So let me give you an example of this. Let's say that Maggie here is looking out the door and she sees something really exciting and she starts to bark at it. So that's the behavior, Maggie chose to bark. Now, what happened right before the behavior, that's the A part of it, she saw something, right? Like she saw a person or she saw a cat or she saw a bird and then she chose to bark at that bird. And now uh, the consequence is whatever happens right after that. So oftentimes the environment will be a natural consequence, like the cat leaves or the bird flies away and the dog thinks, oh, that behavior is perfect because it got me what I wanted. I saw the cat, I barked at it, the cat left. So if I do nothing with the A and the C, then the dog is going to probably in the future continue to choose to bark out the window. Now, uh, when we talk about the ABCs of dog training and where I come in, uh, let's talk about the C option first, right? So Maggie's at the door, she's currently barking at the cat or the bird, and my options are a little bit limited at that point. I want to immediately interrupt and redirect Maggie. So I'm going to bring out a little food reward or a squeaky toy, something that can get her away from practicing the current behavior. Uh, if I need to, I'll even attach a leash. Just put the leash on her, say let's go, walk away from the window, and then we move to a different area of the house. Maybe she needs to go in a crate for a little while with a chew, she can spend some time in a pen, uh, but I'm going to give her a better activity to do other than staring out the window and looking for birds or cats. Now, uh, that's fine and great, but recognize she was still barking out the window when I stepped in to do something about it. So that barking is still part of the process. Uh, what I want to do in the future is recognize when sweet Maggie's looking out the window, I can anticipate that she's probably going to start barking at something. So before she barks, as soon as I notice her going to that window, I'm going to actually step in and redirect at that point. That's before the behavior happens, which we call the anesthesia or the A. So before she's barking, I'm going to choose to step in with that same treat or the same toy and then move her away from the window and get her on a better activity, just like I did with the consequence part. But recognize the good part of this is that she didn't actually practice the barking. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Hey, no, 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 yeah, no, no. All right, let me give you another example with the ABCs. So right now, Exter is on my furniture. I don't mind that he's here, that's okay with me. So that's not a behavior I'm looking to change. So I don't need to use the ABCs. I have another puppy here, Maggie, that's ready to play today. And let's say that I don't want her on my furniture. Okay, well right now I have a couple options. One, she's already chosen to jump up on my sofa, right? So she's already here, she chose that behavior. I didn't get out in front of it like I, maybe should in the future. So instead I have a couple options now is one, I could ask her to get off if she's been taught that cue. <laughs> she's gonna jump off, there we go, good girl. And I can reward that. And I can now get her in a different behavior. So maybe I ask her to lay down. Yes, good job. And then I can reward her for staying in that position and now I'm keeping her off of my sofa. So this is the consequence side of the behavior. She chose to jump up, I redirected her off, and now she's doing something better that I like. Okay, let's talk about um, a different scenario. Now that she's not on the sofa, I have the opportunity to now prevent it and get out in front of it if she so chooses to jump on it again. So I'm going to be watching her, anticipating when she looks at the sofa, she might choose to try to jump on it. Instead, again, I can redirect her to the ground into a down before she actually jumps on the sofa. 
Um, I can cue a leave it to the sofa, meaning take your attention away from the sofa. Those would all be things that I'm doing ahead of the behavior so that she's uh, staying where I would like her to stay versus trying to attempt to jump on my sofa. So the A of the ABCs would be, I notice she's approaching my sofa. I don't want her to choose the behavior of jumping on it. So I'm going to interrupt her, redirect her to this nice, lovely uh, down position that she's doing and just drop a little food reward every once in a while to keep her there. So now I've prevented the unwanted behavior. I've replaced it with a better behavior. And this becomes the new pattern when she's looking at the sofa. If you have any questions about what we talked about in this video today, leave them in the comments below and then make sure you subscribe for more training tips.